everybody welcome back to ip farms well it's another beautiful day here in north carolina it is hot scorching hot first day the humidity has been back through the roof here i think it's in front of this tropical storm that's coming up out of the gulf of mexico but anyway been down here for an hour or so had to run and get a bunch of supplies this morning just standing out here in the blazing sun off this golden straw here it's it's baking my tail but uh anyway i'm gonna get a little bit of today what we're gonna do uh try to get this fence spread apart here i'm standing about where the gates are going to meet I'm gonna put two 12 foot gates uh, and overlap them the width of the pipe and daisy chain them for the local agency and then just run some T-posts and barbed wire back, put up some no trespassing signs. Always was a fence here. They're supposed to be putting one out at the end of the road at the other state road. No telling when that'll be and I don't really want the four wheelers down here just having a heyday in this uh, you know, smoothed up process. They really did a good job. They came through. Uh, the seed company did a good job. Uh, they had several tractors down here and offset disc, uh, finishing leveling everything up, grading it down. So hopefully in the clip I get here in a second, uh, I'll pan out, try to zoom in a little bit. Maybe you can see the more of the lay of the land. Just standing here looking back up towards the major highway where the hill was, where it was so far up, it uh, you can definitely tell that it's it's like it used to be now. So if I can get this fence up, we've got one on the back side of the property that doesn't until the gate. And then I've got a place under the highway bridge that four wheelers come through. They've tore down my fence and poles numerous times over the years. So we're gonna try to set some poles in concrete this time and see what happens. So uh, if I don't pass out from this heat, I'll try to bring you along and show you a little bit of it today. It's gonna be, like I said, a uh, you know start and stop and bring you back kind of day. But uh, we'll see what we can get into. Okay, that's the camera zoomed in. I don't know if you can tell that or not. Look way back there on the back. Um, you can see pretty much steady grade all the way back to the back. There's not a huge hump there back there at the highway. Uh, pan around here slow. And then, of course, the stake right here at my finger is our property line that goes over that tree right beside where my dad's truck sitting. And this is the rest of the right of way out to the road. So, all in all, it uh, it looks good. I mean, it's farmland and it's bottom land, but it sure is a whole lot better than it was. Okay, let's get started fencing okay well first hole's board we've got the string i don't think you can see it in the camera right there but anyway uh it's gonna be a bringing you back after i do today my buddy's here doesn't like the camera no problems um we're gonna put two gates here uh a pole here and then the center line of the gate is gonna be about lined up with that manhole and then we'll put another 12 foot gate over here and overlapping the thickness of the uh, gate itself, the inch and seven eighths pipe or whatever it is, tie them up tight, uh, give the local agency a lock to daisy chain with and uh, go from there. So, so far so good, forgot to level, but he's gone back up there to get it. So I'll bring you back when we get a little bit more, maybe the holes dug and the poles in. I'll show you those right quick. Um, I had two uh, more of my grandpa's stuff here, thank goodness had to i believe it's sand pipe that he used to have uh from the sand business but anyway they were set up for uh clothes line poles i'm not sure exactly where they came from they were up there in the building that we tore apart so uh, we're going to use those i believe it's looks like six inch five or six inch pipe uh pretty good size wall um i'm gonna put them down about two or three foot in concrete and then i've got um i've got these uh gate hangers here that we're going to put through and that way i can adjust the gates so you know precise so we don't mess up like we did on the other gate and leave a foot gap over there but anyway i'll bring you back soon all right well, i'm gonna apologize ahead of time if i'm out of breath it's killing me uh one pole set here still gotta take this t-post up i had put those down when they marked the property line just so they wouldn't get washed away second post up um if the camera's gonna pick it up or not but it's about uh not that much off the line with the string and we'll go over here uh didn't realize it but this box elder tree right here on the corner they ripped the limb out of it and killed it uh which is fine but i wish i'd have had it to uh uh cut down beforehand but anyway we came back here and uh there's the other property line style. We just put a cedar pole back there and some concrete to tie off to here. Main thing is to get this uh, area through here across the easement done. And then I still got to clear the property line, the tree line here so I can gain some access to the fields for the headlands. But uh, 
All right, let's see if we can get some T-post in and get some barbed wire ran. Well, I'm by far not a professional, and especially on a 97 degree day with almost 100% humidity. I'm dying, but the fence is up. Uh, we're gonna run some supplies back up to the shop and see if we can get down there and take those gates off and get the gates hung and I'm gonna call it a day after that. I'll bring you back and show you what it looks like when we're finished. Okay, well there it is. Uh, ran out of power in the cordless drill, just like I'm about out of power for one day. So we were able to get this side uh, bolted up uh, to the pole like it's supposed to be and it's hung where it needs to be. Um, we got this side down here, got the pilot holes drilled, and both my batteries went dead. Had a generator running, but it takes them a while to charge up, and I don't have a corded drill, so I've got to uh, enlarge the holes here. Um, one day next week, I was wanting to get this done today. We just kind of got it cobbled together and chained up. I got a no trespassing sign on the other side, so hopefully this will be enough for deterrent. I think most of them come in from that way. There are some that comes in from under the bridge, so I'm going to run back there and just hang up a sign uh just to let them know so all right let me get a few more things up and uh, we'll call this a video okay everybody i believe we'll wrap this one up uh property line fence in here it has been miserable today with the heat and out here in this blaring sun all day long um, i'm not the best at fencing don't claim to be it's there some bob wires up i got most of the gates up poles are in concrete so uh I come down here as soon as the rain quits first of the week and drill those other holes, get the gate hung. This part will be finished. And like I said, I got two more sections on the back part closer to the big highway. Uh, one, I just need to stretch some fence across. And the other, uh, we got to put some kind of poles or something in the ground. They're notorious for tearing my fence down there. So uh, anyway, uh, I'm tired. I apologize. Didn't get a whole lot of shots today. Like I said, my buddy is with me, but it just it's miserable out here in this heat. So we're going to wrap it up. Um, Thank you all for watching. Uh, please consider subscribing if you hadn't already. You know, hit the thumbs up button if you like what you see. Thumbs down. I understand it's not for everybody. Uh, share the videos. Get them out there. Might be somebody else interested in some of this stuff that I'm doing here at the Reclaim. Um, this fence was here before they started. Just a misunderstanding and agreement that, you know, they remarked the property line. We said we put the fence back up. We did. Um, so it's just, you know, another notch in the belt for the bottom land here. Hopefully I get those other two sections up. We'll be completely finished, have every trespassers out and uh, let some grass grow and hopefully uh, get this in crop next year. Till next time, thank you.